Hello everyone and welcome to today's SPM Summit Online Recharge. Our topic today is getting to the real why, using artificial intelligence to obtain actionable customer insights for product evolution. And the focus will be on using um, artificial intelligence techniques to analyze unstructured data. And as Barbara already um, said, the topic of both my research and the, and the talk I give today is scalable requirements interviews and analysis using AI. Um, lettering, while it is a sort of a cognitive technique from psychology, so it's about understanding why people um, do what they do, what are the means that motivates them to pursue certain ends. Um, it actually is a rather common technique to be used in interviews and also in um, requirement solicitation interviews. And actually, I guess all of you probably know the, the essential, essential fundamentals of lettering interviews, because it's all about asking why. Um, if you look at the most simple um, or straightforward form of a lettering interview, um, it will remind you of a child well, asking about the world, um, because that's pretty much it. You ask a question, um, you get a reply, and you ask why. And then you get a reply, hopefully, and you ask why again. And you continue on and on and on until you're satisfied or until you reach sort of the value um, that's behind, well, the attribute that you're pretty much eliciting. Because lettering essentially um, combines three well, levels of abstract abstractness um, in the concept that it talks about. We start with a concrete attribute, and it's sort of a physical observable characteristic of a product. Um, for example, we did interviews to understand why users use smartphones, which you don't see because of my screen. So. Um, why people interact with smartphones, what is important to them, and um, particularly if you're a player in the mobile industry, um, these insights can inform you on how to maybe come up with new marketing campaigns or well, essentially how you can improve your products or um, achieve differentiation from offerings in the App Store, for example. So we asked, okay, here's a smartphone. What are the attributes or what are the functions you most commonly use on your phone? And we get responses like camera, Instagram, WhatsApp, and so on. The second part of the chain is consequences. And consequences describe concrete benefits or costs that are sort of provided or um, connected to this particular attribute. For example, um, the attribute of camera um, achieves digital storage for me. I can store my memories. And finally, the, um, the highest level of abstractness is reached with values which outline concrete um, wishes, goals, and needs that I achieve, and that help me understand why particular functions are commonly used, are important, or are essential for, well, selling a, a product, pretty much. Um, and the questions you ask are really straightforward. I mean, everything you need is sort of the why question, and you might even throw in um, the occasional what question, as you see in the example. So you would start with, what functions do you most frequently use? Why do you use this particular function? What do you obtain by using this function? And then finally, and why is this important to you? And as I mentioned before, the, the output of these conversations, if you break them down, can be rather simple. Um, for example, I have some um, function connected to the communication attribute, for example, WhatsApp. What do I want to achieve with this? I want to improve or enable um, communication. Um, simply because for many people, um, calling somebody is more difficult than just sending a quick text message. And then the ultimate value that I want to achieve with this is socialization. And this was important because imagine a requirements interview or imagine any interview for this sort. If you do this interview yourself, you might have a specific goal in mind, you have a structure in mind, you know how to ask questions and how to react. And if we want to use AI to perform this task, we have to give the AI something that they can use as a guiding structure for the interview context. It's very hard to just build a sort of a general um, AI chatbot that you can throw into any um, conversational situation and that will just will give a conversation. Um, in particular, if you want, if you actually achieve or want to achieve a goal with this conversation. I mean, a small talk bot has been done and is, is doable. But if you want to end up with insight, with requirements, you need to follow a strategy. And ideally, this strategy is inspired by something that humans who have years and years of experience with conducting requirements interviews um, already deemed appropriate. And therefore, we found um, that the lettering technique is very promising for conducting interviews. And in the short demo, 
I just wanted to show you how this initial prototype we used um, for one particular study looks like. I do not expect you to actually read the conversation, especially since it's in German. Um, for me, I just brought this demo to you to give you a look and feel of, of the general prototype that we developed. And what you see here is um, to kick the conversation off, the chatbot would ask um, or would introduce the context a little bit and then would ask for three concrete examples of functions users would use on a smartphone. And then they would start um, with the first function that was mentioned and prompts the user um, to please tell the bot why this particular function is important for the user. User would reply, and then the chatbot would ask, in this instance, what feeling do you achieve with um, this particular word, answer or, or um, attribute that you just uh, mentioned? And would go pretty much on and on using different um, questioning techniques um, and without going into too much technical detail, um, the bot tries to come up with a question um, that sort of works in the context of the conversation without too much fancy um, AI technology actually being involved. Because ideally, or in an in a obvious scenario, and whenever you will read um, some publications or some uh, well, media outlet publication of, about AI, it's usually about data. Like how much data do I have to perfectly train this chatbot to perfectly react to my scenario? And I mentioned the use cases before. We have, for example, new product development and we have product evolution um, or major releases. And particularly if we want to do exploratory research, but because I want to develop a new product, I might not have much information um, about this particular domain. So how do I train a chatbot if I don't know the domain myself? Um, and therefore we try to develop the chatbot in a way that it works without requiring magnitudes of data to get it going in the first place. And the second thing I want you to take away from this visualization is that um, also recent studies have shown that it's very hard for participants to actually follow the interview and remember everything that has been said without a visualization. And therefore on the right side, we provided participants with a tree um, that shows the specific topics um, that were relevant in the conversation. 